So we've made it so that we can change rooms by changing the URL. But we haven't made a way to change the URL without actually typing it in, right? We want that to happen when we click these links on the sidebar, don't we? Don't we? Yes, we get that that's why we're doing this, right? So we can click these and have it actually change. All right, piece of cake. So those links are in room list, right? Room list. Here we go. So for each room, we print out a room link. OK? So room link right now contains an li with a link in it. Uh, what if this, instead of just going to slash and having an on click, what if it were a proper React nav link? React router nav link. So let's import nav link from React router DOM. Why do I use nav link? So that there'll be a class on it with active, because I actually want it to show up differently if that's the page I'm already on, right? So I use the nav link, and then I just change this to nav link instead of A. Change the opening and closing tags. And then instead of href, it's 2. And where do we want to go? Well, I better use a template literal here. I want to go to slash rooms slash this room right here, right? Because I'm using a template literal now, only a very simple string can you use quotes. Yep, if you're going to use a template literal, you've got to use curly braces. And I wanted to do that because I'm including the room name in the URL, right? So I don't need an on click anymore, do I? Don't need it. So I'll take it out of the prop list here too. So I don't need to pass it down from room list. So I can take load room out of here. Uh, so I don't need load room in here either. So when I load room list from sidebar, so in sidebar, I no longer need to pass load room into room list. And in main, I no longer need to pass load room into sidebar. So this is actually simplifying things quite a bit. If you can just do it by changing URLs, the code ends up being quite a bit simpler. So I don't need to, uh, I don't need handle click at all. They're just links now. Does it work? Yep. Now, if we inspect this, I am getting the class of active on there. If I switch to a different one, that one's no longer active. See that? So Navlink is doing its thing and setting active as soon as we do this, but we don't have a style for that right now. So let's add a style for that real quick. Um, since we already know the class name, this is actually going to be a lot easier with CSS. I'm not even sure we could do it with uh, Aphrodite. So I already have app.css. We have one real CSS file, so I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to say, so I've got the room list class, and then this is an A, an a element, a link, with a class of active. And I'm going to change the uh, background color. So in room link, when we hover, we get this. So let's just do the same thing that we do when we hover. But this is real CSS, so it's not camel case, it's hyphenated. I don't need quotes around this value, and I do need a semicolon. There we go. General's highlighted. Switch to Fortnite. Switch to Parkour. Switch to Pokemans. S2 Afternoon. Nope. It didn't change the colors before. So that's the CSS I just added. So the active class was put on there, but we needed to write a CSS rule to actually make that class do something. I like this a lot better. Don't 
Yep. All those things are actually adding to your history. Totally works. And of course, if we refresh on a particular page, it goes straight to that page. We get that page back. So the routes have actually made this easier to use. It makes the back button actually work. The back button was totally broken before. Now we can actually switch rooms, have the URL change, send a link to our friends. See the value in this? And once you know how to use router, it's actually easier really than not doing it. You don't have to manage as much state. You don't have to pass around as many props. It's better and it's easier. Yay. So use Navlink to change rooms. <laughs>